I don't know if I'm going to talk or not because I might just do a voiceover type thing. Alright, it'll be easier if I just talk. So these are Irresistible Me hair extensions that they sent to me to review and I picked blonde so that I could dye them and really put them to the test. So I already, I opened this piece, but they all come in a hair net, like what's in here. I'll just show you really quick. These are the 14 inch ones. And I don't remember the specific name, I will put it below. But this is just a little three clip extension. They're super easy to put in. Um, but I'm going to dye them, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to dye them. So that's that, and then you can pick different weights. And I picked the 200 gram because that gives you the most hair. You don't have to show that yet because I'm going to tell what, what that is. Okay, so like I said, they come in a hair net type thing like this to keep them all separated. This is heavy. It's like you just chopped off someone's ponytail. Probably not supposed to rip it open like this, but yeah. And I thought these were going to be too long, but it's actually, that one I put in wasn't that much longer than my hair. So these are all the extensions, and I'm probably going to dye all of them just so I have them because I can't really put blonde extensions in my hair, it's going to look stupid. A cute little box. Irresistible me. Are you going to read it to them? No. <laughs> it's just very dark in here. What's that black thing? Yeah, the lighting is probably not going to be so great because they... Holy shit, this is a lot of hair. See, this isn't... I have thick hair to begin with, so I'm not gonna probably wear all these at one time. If you're wondering, that's our dog's dog toy behind her. Oh, Jesus. But it comes with extra clips too, I guess in case one breaks. or comes with three extra ones. So no need to have it sewn in. It's not the type that you sew in. I don't know, honey. So this is the big piece that goes on the back of your head. It's got four clips. I don't know the technical terms for them. They're called wefts, I know that. But that's that one. They can be, it's real human hair, so they can be straightened, curled, washed, blow dried. Anything you do to your real hair, you can do to these. And then you have another three piece section. I think these are all just more, yeah. Probably for your sides or something. There's la la la. Okay, so there's two three-piece sections. There's the big four-piece section that goes on the back of your head. And then there's four two-piece, two-clip sections, I mean. Clips, not pieces. And then there's two one-piece. Which, these would come in handy if you just want, like, two colored strips in your hair. Just clip these in and you have little peaks of color, which is probably what I'll do. But I'm going to dye all of them, and I'm going to show you the colors that I have. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do yet, as far as colors go, but I have... This is just a little bit to start off with. It's Ion Color Brilliance, one of their new neon bright colors in cyan. So that's this one. Um, this one is Pravana Vivid's Locked In. This is their new hair color. It's the one that's not supposed to bleed into other colors, and it's weird because it's like a gel, and I've never used this before, so we'll see how that turns out. That is locked in purple. It's not the light, it just legit looks black. Yeah, it's really dark. You'll see it once it goes on. And then the other color here is Pravana, uh, what's the name, Wild Orchid. Really hard to see, but that's like a it's like a, a dark purple. dark blood red color. Pinkish purple. Yeah, well, I mean, just in the bowl, <laughs> it's that color. All right, so I think I'll I'll start with the tiny pieces, 
Ignore the fact that there's dog hair all over the rug because I vacuum this rug 12 times a day and the friggin' dog is shedding right now. It's her fault. <laughs> so... That thing right there. <laughs> Tail legs. I've never dyed extensions before, but it's the same as doing your own hair. Um, this ought to be fun. I just have a crappy towel that I don't care about. It just happens to be white. And I'm gonna lay the hair there and... It's okay, because I actually like that towel, so she doesn't mind using it. <laughs> yeah, I'll get a little bit closer here. I'm gonna, this is going to be my main color, the, vivid, the wild orchid, because I have two tubes of this in case I need more. This was the last one you showed? Uh, yeah, the Pravana wild orchid. Imagine it's not incredibly important to get it right up to the clip because you're not going to see that part of it anyway. These kind of have to get buried in your hair. But I'm just going to get in there good because it needs to all get distributed. Yeah, see, this, this is way different than doing my own hair because it actually penetrates just doing it like this. With my hair, I have to, like, work it in and friggin'... I'm just gonna dye extensions from now on and wear them when I feel like it. Alright, so I'm gonna do this one from the Wild Orchid to the Locked in Purple color. So it's not too much of a color difference. This is like a gel, so it's weird. I hope it's not going through onto the rug. So, kind of just trying to blend it in. That's really not much of a color difference. The purple is kind of the same color as the orchid. So fail? No, I mean... Oh, well, I don't know. I'm asking. Then I'm going to have to go rinse all these out, and I'm just going to let them dry overnight. I'm going to... I'm not going to blow dry them tonight. So, that's a minor color. Let me just rinse this, because I want to use the blue. Should I stop it? No, I think you go. Because I'm going to edit the crap out of it. I'm not going to film me doing all of these, by the way. We'll do one of the two-piece. So the good thing about getting this giant set of them is I can do different ones, and I'm not going to wear them all at the same time, so it's not going to matter. Um, I want to use the blue, but I don't have another brush. Let's go rinse it. So I'm going to do the wild orchid again as the top color. Probably, so predictable. I'm probably going to do them all with this as the top color just so they're all... Check out the blue. <laughs> it looks like an alien poop. All right, now okay. we're doing the blue. Oh my god. The blue is nice and thick. That is such a lovely color blue. I don't know how good it's going to work though. Oh my god, look at the texture. I'm just going to put it on for now and then I'll blend it with my gloves. I 
I know you're gonna edit out my voice out of everything. So, that's how you blend? Yeah. This is how I've always, whenever I do two colors in my hair, I always, I always just grab it and go, eh, eh, eh. How does it go? Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Not very professional, but it gets the job done. That's, I like these two colors together. That's pretty. Look. Here, I'll put it down here so you can see better against the light. You just take where the two colors go. Because if you just have a stark line, it looks stupid. Like, I don't like those... Dip yeah, so for all you people out there that have stark <laughs> lines, you look stupid. Like the dip dye thing. I don't like the whole dip dye thing where you, it looks like you just dunked your blonde ponytail in a vat of red dye. This is a thicker piece. So... This is the four. This is the finale. Yeah, this is the, the back four. part for your head. The, the four the clipped part, one. The part for the back of your head. My battery died last night, and now it's the next morning, and I just dried and straightened the extensions, and there's so much hair on these extensions that I literally only have the back weft in, and on each side I have one of the two-clip pieces, so they do need to be trimmed because they're a little longer than my hair, but I think I might just actually wait until my hair grows another inch, and then they'll be exactly the right length. But I love the blue color. Hopefully you can see. It looks kind of silly because it's too long. <laughs> but, like I said, I can trim them or I can wait a little bit. See, some of my natural hair underneath is still pink from when I had it pink. But, um, they 
other than the fact that I need to trim them, they blend in with my hair really well. When my hair is straight anyway, my hair is naturally curly, that's why I had to straighten it. But um, yeah, the straightening iron worked fine on them. I should have recorded that, but I don't have Steven to record for me today. But they feel just like my hair, they're nice and thick. But um, yeah, I would recommend if you have thick hair, you don't need to order the 200 gram um, set because they send you so much hair. It's literally, it's so easy to put them in. Um, I wanna put you somewhere <laughs> so that I can show you, show you. Now, but let's just do this. I didn't end up dyeing all the extensions because I ran out of hair dye. I, I used both tubes of the Pravana Wild Orchid and I used all of my cyan, the, the ion neon cyan one. So this was the one clip piece that I dyed with the Pravana Wild Orchid on top and then the Pravana uh, locked in vivids purple and I the purple came out good I wasn't a fan of the gel consistency of the dye it smelled really good though and it still smells good on the hair um, but yeah this was my first piece ever so you can still see there's some blonde I have to go over this again but these one clip pieces are really good for like towards the front where if you just want a little pop of color but it came out really pretty. There's more of a color contrast now than when the dye was wet because I didn't think it was going to be that different in color when it was wet, but now that it's rinsed out and dried, it's a pretty ombre. So I didn't put that in my hair and I didn't put the three-piece one that I dyed in my hair because it's just, there's so much in here already. Um, so this was the three-clip. I don't know why I keep saying three-piece, but this was the three-clip one with the wild orchid on top and then the cyan on the bottom so I'm going to have to get the same colors again and go over this because again there's some blonde pieces that I missed but it took the dye really well I didn't even have to leave it on that long I kind of after I filmed the video I rinsed everything out and then I let it dry overnight and then this morning I straightened them and I mean I'm not gonna be able to put my hair up because you'll probably be able to see the clips but oh my god, my hair feels like ridiculously thick. And it's ridiculously thick to begin with. So, I mean, you can see the pops, the color popping out. And I am going to do my hair, but now I have to get more dye. So I don't know what I'm going to do to my hair. But um, I really like them. They're very easy to put in and take out. Let me show you. They're pretty much just like any other bendy, snappy hair clip. I don't know the proper name for those, but you just clip it in and unclip it and it comes out. So like I said, I put two of these in, one on each side of my head. That's that one and I kind of put these up a little higher than where I put the back whiffed. So that one was on the other side. I actually did more blue on the other one, I think. Yeah, these are awesome because when I just want little pops of color in my hair, I can put these. And then if I want to do my whole head like I've done here, <laughs> or most of my hair, put this giant back weft in that's super heavy and has tons of hair in it. Get it out here. It's a good thing my hair is straight because it's a good thing I straightened my hair because if it was curly it would probably be getting be getting all snagged in here but this is the giant back weft that's still a little damp actually <laughs> I'm gonna have to straighten it again once it's fully but I mean my brush goes right through it easily it's nice and soft it feels pretty much just like my hair um, and like I said it took the dye really well which I was excited for because that means I can have funky colored hair extensions now but that's pretty much my little demo on how I dyed my Irresistible Me hair extensions and how they turned out. I'm very happy with them. Um, I Like I said, I am going to get these same colors again and just go over them one more time and kind of blend the middle some more. But really pretty color combination. I figured these two would look good together. 
um, the blue like super pops out in contrast to my brown hair so that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this little hair extension journey with me um, I'm gonna have the links to irresistible me and everything and I'm I've got a blog post that I'm doing as well so that will be linked below um, but yeah that is they're really heavy duty they're not going anywhere I haven't had anything like shedding as I was brushing or dyeing it or anything um, so really enjoy these so far I'm glad that they're I've heard a lot of people talk about irresistible me hair extensions like I said this is my first time ever trying any kind of hair extension and I really like them so far so yeah um, the, the information to the set that I got, the information for the set that I got will be below because I can't remember the exact name. I'm pretty sure it was Platinum Blonde and I know it was the 200 gram set that I got um, and the they were 14 inches. I think they go up to 26 but my hair is shorter right now so I got the shortest ones that they had. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you in my next video. Don't get scared, take a chance Don't let it slip through your hands Cause love will save you I